Lee Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. We are going to continue talking about the keeping power of God. Do we have what it takes to keep us? Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, Against such there is no law. We're looking at these items because these items is what we should have received when we received the Holy Ghost. And if we haven't, then we need to pray and ask God to fill us with these things. Because it takes all of these things to make us that individual that God wants us to be. You know, striving for that place of perfection, to be like Jesus. Kindness, as a result of more people being impatient, having a short fuse, and with everyone always being in a hurry, many people have lost the ability to treat others with kindness and respect. And boy, that is so true. A kind word, a kind action to some other, another person can really do wonders for them. When you really study the life of Jesus in the New Testament, you can really tell how kind he always was with other people in his dealings with them. Jesus is without question the ultimate role model for all of us of someone who was fully walking and operating in all nine fruits of the Holy Ghost. The quality of kindness will go hand in hand with the quality of love. Once the Holy Ghost starts to transmit its love into your heart, the quality of kindness will follow right along with it. You know, if they know us by our fruits, it is, will then become much easier for you to be able to be kind to others once the love of God starts to flow more into your personality. You cannot help but be more kind to others if God's love is flowing within you. This is why the quality of love has to be the main quality that you really concentrate on getting more of from the Holy Ghost. When, once the love of God starts to flow and operate through you to touch others, many of the other fruits of the Holy Ghost would then start to flow right after it is dominant in your life. Here are some of the different definitions of what real kindness is all about. Quality or state of being kind. The steadfast love that maintains relationships through gracious aid in times of need. Goodness of heart serviceable, good, gracious, pleasant, love for mankind, hospitality, acts of kindness, readiness to help, human friendship, taking thought of others, goodness in action, sweetness of disposition. You know, there's a lot of areas there that we really need to work on. Gentleness in dealings with others especially when they're not so good to deal with. The ability to act for the welfare of those taxing your patience. As you can see, from some of these different definitions, this is a very beautiful quality to have transmitted into our heart. And it comes by the Holy Ghost. That's why without the Spirit, you're none of His. And you need that Holy Ghost to lead you and guide you into what? All truth and righteousness. Well, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We pray and ask you, Lord, to lead us and guide us. Keep your hand upon us. Lord, bless each and every one. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope and trust that you'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.